to find the value of k, let's equate the first fraction and k. So we get a plus b over c equals k. Both sides multiplied by c. You get a plus b equals c times k. Similarly, let's equate the second fraction and k. So we get b plus c over a equals k. Then both sides multiply by a. We get b plus c equals a k. Similarly, c plus a over b equals k. Both sides multiply by b. We get c plus a equals b times k. Now we add these three equations together. So the left side becomes 2a plus 2b plus 2c. So we just write as 2 times a plus b plus c. The right side, ak, bk, ck, we can write as k times a plus b plus c. At this point, a common mistake would be cancel a plus b plus c. You get the solution k equals 2. But you miss another solution. The correct way would be move this term to the left side. So we get 2 times a plus b plus c minus k times a plus b plus c equals 0. Then we take the common factor a plus b plus c out. So we get 2 minus k times a plus b plus c equals 0. So we have two cases. So the first case, 2 minus k equals 0. The second case, a plus b plus c equals 0. For the first case, we get the first solution, k equals 2. For the second case, then a plus b equals negative c. So k, we know k equals a plus b over c. a plus b over c. But a plus b equals negative c. So negative c over c. So we get negative 1. So we get two solutions to the given problem. 2 and negative 1.